Hello, my name is Shatalia, and welcome to a brand new series of Supreme Rule Ultimate. It's been a little while since we did the previous one. Uh, so today we are going to be playing as Columbia, as you probably saw from the thumbnail and the name of the series. The Columbian Space Initiative. So that's kind of uh, alluding to the goal that we have for this series. So in this series we're not going to be conquering the world or anything like that. It's going to be more economy focused playthrough. Uh, we started on the 1914 Brinksmanship star, so there's not necessarily going to be a world war. But there might be some wars still, especially in Europe, somewhere down the line. There's, uh, volatility is on low, and uh, military difficulty is still on very high, but economy and pol political difficulty are on medium. I'm not going to go through the, all, all the settings, I've already set them up and... Um, yeah, uh, so our goal for this series is going to do the Man on Mars uh, race, which is the last one, and that's going to basically, we want to do that. That's the entire goal for this series, and for, to achieve that we're going to have to get a pretty good economy going and eventually increase our research quite a bit. We'll try to, if, if someone declares war on us, then we'll try to... Of course, we'll win that, but we're not going to be declaring wars ourselves. So we're trying to keep good relations with everyone around us, more or less. So we'll see how that goes. There's going to be probably quite a bit of time skips between the episodes every now and then, but I reckon that the first few episodes are going to be back to back. But anyway, let's uh, get started, shall we? So I haven't set up anything yet here. So first things first. Um, we want to lock this particular minister from doing anything, essentially. I'll take care of that myself, and in the resources I'm going to be locking all of the resources. I'm going to be setting up some of the goals there manually. So I'll, I'll have uh, basically then full control over everything. Then in research we're probably going to lock everything as well. Now we don't have anything under research quite yet. I think we're going to want to get the synchronous power grid actually as the first one. There's a reason for that. A lot of the other things we can buy from other nations, so that's going to save us some time in the research. Secondly, the synchronous power grid is required for the assembly lines, which is then going to unlock industrialization. Because we do need to get the vacuum tubes for that, but we can buy that from, for example, the United States. And then that is going to open up so many resources, so we're going to try to get to that as soon as possible. Then, uh, now that we lock that, let's see. Lower the initiatives to zero. I'm going to take care of the army myself, and military spending, and well, garrison control you can handle. So that's about it. Um, so if we have a look at our resource productions, we, as a Columbia we actually have a pretty decent resources. Um, we have coal, oil, uh, metals, wood and food, and a lot of electricity production in here. I don't actually know if we have uranium in here. We might need some later on. No, it doesn't look like there's a uranium in our country. Shame, but we can probably buy it from the market eventually. Once there's actually going to be some demand for it. Uh, but eventually we'll probably get some of the nuclear power plants and such. But anyway, let's have a look. So we're going to need some... Uh, of, yeah, some farms going on. So I think we're going to build two down here. It's fairly close to the capital area and means that it will have eventually pretty good supplies. Because we... We do have a bridge over there, technically speaking, with the town. We'll build a bridge over here eventually. Now, we don't have any military goods production yet, so I'm not going to start building any troops. Because, well, it wouldn't be working quite as well as you'd hope for. But anyway, so we're going to increase our food production a little bit. Robert, I'm going to have to make sure that we are going to keep... We'll keep buying as much as we need. For the time being. So at some point we'll start buying bulk goods from the British, for example, because they usually have a lot of rubber. Uh, we do have a little bit lack in timber production. We've got a pretty good production in petroleum, and that does give us a little bit extra money, so I'm going to keep that as max. But coal, I'm going to put you as uh, maybe 110% of the capacity. So we don't produce too much. 
because I don't think we'll be able to sell particularly much either. I'm going to do the same with the missiles. And electricity, I'm going to keep as is. Actually, let's have a look. So we got the domestic price is 80%. I think we're going to lower that to 70. And then you, I can drop to around 70-ish as well. Keep most of the domestic prices uh, fairly low. So that is going to keep population happy because we are a democracy, so we do need to worry about that a little bit. Petroleum price, oh wow. Actually, probably easier to do it this way. 70 is fairly good, to, at least in my opinion. It's probably not the best. You can probably have a bit better prices at, at some points, but it's enough so that you will at least make your money back more or less from the production. Hold on. Um, that went a bit over. Unfortunately, this is a bit finicky sometimes, the controls there. Right, so this one we already changed. I think we did everything now. Good. Right, so we'll get the food production up a little bit because I don't want to be beholding on other nations for the food. In case there's a massive war breaking up, then there's going to be quite a bit of uh, demand for the food and then that might cost us uh, quite a fortune. Now, uh, in terms of our economy, we don't have a particularly good uh, uh, GDP per capita. Actually, right at the world average right now, it's going to be growing or going up quite a bit. Now, first things first, let's get social spending. We're going to get the healthcare up at least around there. We're going to increase the education to about 50%. Infrastructure, we're going to get to about 100% as well. A little bit of family subsidy so we can get population growth growing and social assistance. Maybe a little bit culture and uh, law enforcement goes up a little bit. So this is going to lower the unemployment quite massively in our country, which is going to be both good and bad in all fairness. Now another thing that I should probably do is I can start getting rid of some of the small coal power plants. Uh, scrap those. Go for 16 total for the time being. And let's finally unpause, shall we? We'll start going with the faster speed because in this run we don't need to worry about the speed too much. Now we will be losing a little bit of money at the start here. Oh, and tensions are high in the world. And still higher. Okay, so are we actually gaining... With the trades that we have currently, not gaining a lot of money. Because we are spending a lot of uh, industrial goods here and it will take some time for us to get the productions there completed. Or constructions rather. But not losing too much right now, and I suppose one thing that I could do, I could increase the taxes for a little while. So it's going to slow it down maybe a tiny bit. At the same time, you don't want to increase the taxes too much. But once we do get more of the infrastructure investments going, that means that the supplies in various locations are going to be better. And therefore, the productions are going to be higher. But we may need to actually pause one of these. Let's see, can we... we're still losing money. Guessing it's a big portion of that is probably... Oh, research is actually right. Oh, right, are we on full research? Yeah, um... How about we put this to max? And then lower this to about 1 million? That's going to give us plenty of money. Hopefully. Another thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to get the artillery guns to be researched because we can't buy that from anyone else. So we're still losing the money, slightly. Okay, um, let's see, if we pause the construction of this as well, will we actually be making money or losing it still? Losing. Okay, so we're going to have to lower the research probably at least. Of course, we are not making a massive amount of money in a lot of these things. Petroleum sales, for example, isn't particularly good. I'm going to lower the price there a little bit so we can actually get the sales going. We are now making money, though, so that's good. So I think we're going to start building one of the agricultures once again. The economy is going to be a bit slow here at first. Uh, eventually it will start ramping up quite a bit, especially once we get some more 
like industrial goods production and military goods production and consumer goods production, or all the goods productions, once those start ramping up, then we should be making quite a bit of money, and with that money we can keep the social spending fairly good, which will bring in more and more people into our country, which means that we can then expand our industry more and more. I mean, our population currently is 5.3 million, which isn't massive. Not massive at all, but I'm sure that will be fine. Now, that research is going to take a while. There's an alliance formed. Okay, so even with the construction, we are still making a decent bit of money. So I'm going to increase the science spending a tiny bit there. Although one thing that we might want to make sure is... Uh... Oh, actually, let's have a look. We have a problem with food, so that means that we probably don't have the buy price high enough. Nope. Let's put that to the top there. I don't think we need... Well, uh, rubber price has gone up again. Increase that. Lumber is just fine. That would produce... That would produce... How is our unemployment right now? It's 10.7%, so it's pretty high still. But that will get fixed eventually. Now, it's still 23 days until we get the farm there, and then we'll start building the second one. I mean, currently we are having a bit of a problem with our food, which is bad. But that will get fixed eventually, and in due time we'll speed up the research a tiny bit. Of course, this is a bit of an expensive research, so I don't think we'll be able to get it on full speed, but we'll speed it up a little bit, and we'll try to get most of the research that we can buy bought from other nations, especially nations like United States, who do like us, and I believe UK likes us fairly well. The neutral right now. United States is cordial. I believe the Dutch were like, yeah, the Dutch and Belgians like us. And I believe, well, Panama is neutral. Okay, what about Ven Venezuela as cordial? Uh, Brazil, cordial. So yeah, we actually have pretty good uh, relations with most of our neighbors. That's going to help a long way. We can do a lot of trading with them. For example, if we would buy rubber from the Brazilians instead, although I'm not entirely sure how massive production they have. Not necessarily quite as big as the British Malaya. Right then, uh, how is the farm coming on? Still six more days. I think we've got enough money or oh, cash reserve there. I'm going to start building the second one. Still technically gaining money. It's like 100,000 per day, but hey, it's better than nothing. Actually, not even 100,000. 10,000. Or 20,000, somewhere around there. But yeah, the farm is uh, completed in one day. Okay, maybe two days. There we go. Now it's completed, and that should increase it. To, yeah, basically double the food production. So that's pretty good. It means that we spend a lot less buying things. And in terms of sales, currently consumer goods is pretty good. Electric power, we get a little bit of money out of there. It's timber and coal that we sell a tiny bit, but at the same time, I don't want to spend too much money producing those. We'll have the capacity there for future, but right now not really necessary. Another thing that we should do at some point is uh, get a proper industrial goods factory. We got one so far and then we got nine smaller ones, which mm, is not necessarily the best. Because now that we are actually making money, a decent bit of money, I'm not, hmm. Wait for the second farm to be completed and then we'll see what the situation is. I'd like to gather up a little bit of money to get some of the researchers bought from other nations. Just so that... Because there's some research that will actually boost like the consumer goods production and some techs are required for unlocking other techs and so forth. So I'd like to get those purchases going already. So maybe we'll save up to about 30 million and buy one tech. I'm pretty sure that there's at least two or three that we can buy early on with that sum of money, hopefully, and that way we can keep the technology race going because we do need to get our technology raised quite a bit. Now, how's the okay, infrastructure rating is still going up, so that means that our unemployment is probably, oh yeah, it's 6.1% now. It will be dropping quite dramatically, in all fairness, but that's the, we still have a a bit more consumption for production, and actually just the consumer goods 
consume more industrial goods than we produce right now. That's uh, slightly concerning. Consumer goods at least give us a decent bit of money. I'm going to lower the amount of sales to 98% of the surplus though. I want to get a tiny bit of stockpile there in case we have a shortage of production at some point. Then at least we'll have a bit of a stockpile to go or lean on to. Actually, I'm going to do similar in both coal and metal and maybe even... Well, I suppose I could do it in timber as well and food if we ever get extra food production. We're still buying the food. Uh, it shouldn't cost us too much, quite frankly. If we have a look at the expenditures, agriculture is 46,000 per day, more or less. No, it's 60,000, but yeah, it's uh, less than 100,000 in purchases total. So we are making a tiny profit there. I suppose one thing that I could do, so I could increase the price of food momentarily to 80%. Because we have a little bit of shortage on the production there, and... Consumer goods, I could raise that up a little bit, but I don't think we need to. But that should mean that we at least get a bit more income from the domestic sales of resources. Or mostly the agriculture. Which, oh, oh, there we go, we got the second farm, so we almost meet our demand in food. Not entirely, but that should basically drop the expenditure to, yeah, basically nothing. So now we are accumulating some money. Uh, how are we doing in terms of the research? It's still 2.9 years away, so that is going to take a while. But yeah, I think uh, the next thing that we're going to build is a proper industrial goods factory. If need be, we can uh, dismantle some of the medium ones to get the industrial goods required to produce it somewhere down the line. But it's still going to be rather expensive, so we need to be a bit careful with that. Now, we are at least gaining the money. Slowly, we're getting about 300,000 per... Actually, it's... Well, it's somewhere around there anyway. We're getting a decent bit of money there. Per day. Um, how is the food... Or oh, uh, consumer goods price has been going up quite nicely. Increase the basic or oh, base sale price there a little bit. So we are actually going to be making profit in any case. So you have a bit of a problem with the production cost. Which is why we've lowered the production quite a bit. You kind of have a similar problem. There's just not so much demand for coal yet. Petroleum, a bit similar problem. I think we've actually stopped selling you, haven't we? Right, well, we should be able to make a decent bit of cash by selling all of that slowly. Well, I'm actually going to lower that to 98% as well, so we'll slowly accumulate that. Fuel reserve there. Okay, so now with the sales, we are actually making some decent cash. Petroleum is making 144,000 per... or 140,000 per day, so that's not too bad. Now, we do have the elections every now and then. Our domestic approval rating is currently 24.5, because the next election is going to be on 1917. So, not yet. We'll get to that eventually, but... We do need to make sure that our approval rating is somewhere around 26 to 27 to win the elections uh, without too much hassle. Which is already being held by the fact that we are doing the social spending. Education, we could probably increase a little bit. At the same time, the more we increase the social spending, the less we have population working on for the industry. So we do need to be a bit careful with that. Unemployment is currently 4%, so it's getting rather low already. And the inflation is already almost 10%, so that's not good. Uh, the uh, GDP per capita has now grown to $155. It used to be 121 at the start of the game here. So, mm, there's improvement. It's not a massive improvement, to be fair. Right, so we are actually making a lot of cash with these, aren't we? We should probably increase the sell price over there a little bit. So do we still have a massive... Yeah, we still have a massive... Stockpile of... Okay, let me just drop that. See if we can actually get the sales. I mean, the fact that we have 3 million, that's going to be about 10 million in total cash. Also, I wanted to get at least one tech from the... 
United States over here. Let's get the healthcare rating up a little bit. They are willing to sell it for 22 million. I'll take that. Right, next I think we're going to have to sell or uh, save the cash for a little while to make sure that we are accumulating or will have enough cash to start building the... What's it called? Industrial Goods Factory. And that's going to take a little while here. And there's, uh, especially the start over here, there's not going to be a massive amount of action, but that's usually the game's uh, start is a bit slow. Unless you're playing a major nation. But yeah, at some point we do want to build the railway down here and build a proper railway network. And maybe at some point we'll build some highways as well. But railway is uh, fairly good for quick transport of troops. So it's not all bad. Not that we will be using too much troops, hopefully. We will build some engineers eventually, once we get some industrial goods production. Not industrial. Military, well, also industrial, but military goods production is what I'm talking about. Is Once we get that going, we can then start producing our own engineers a little bit. So we can use those to build faster, and that means that we can increase our economy quicker and quicker. Assuming that we can keep the... Actually, is the population growing? It... Is barely, but it is growing. This really is only 78% right now. That's not great. It's not absolutely terrible either, but could be a lot better in all fairness. Right, so we are producing 173 consumer goods, but we're using 103 to 104 per day, so there's not a massive amount of sales that we are getting through there. But it's better than nothing. And we are actually making a decent profit out of there. What about... Ooh. Right, industrial goods production cost is actually higher than it is to buy from the markets. Interesting. Now, how much would it cost for the actual industrial goods to build this? 33,000. We got all, most of that. I suppose I could start building one of these. Maybe over here. We will have to pause it every now and then, of course, but... Uh, actually, I'm going to have to pause it immediately. Otherwise, we're going to run out of money. I could take some bonds or loans, but I don't think they're going to be quite worth it. Hey, we got one day in there so far. I'm just going to have to do this uh, over and over again for a while. Uh, every time we reach, I don't know, 10 million, we can... Give it a day or two, and then uh, wait for a little bit, or I can just let the money tick over to maybe 20 to 30 million, and keep it going a little bit longer. But yeah, as soon as we get this working, we'll increase our industrial goods production quite a bit. Now, it is going to lower our unemployment even further. It's actually rather low right now. But once we get that up, I can probably get rid of all the smaller ones, or at least most of the smaller ones. And then we, once we get a third one, we'll probably get rid of all the small ones. And we'll still have a high production because each one of the bigger ones produces uh, 10 times the good production as the one below it. So, uh, for example, there's the micro-industrial goods that produces only 1% of what a proper, all the industrial, a proper industrial goods factory does. And the medium ones produce 10% each. So the fact that we have nine of the smaller ones, or the medium ones, um, means that it's basically almost as good as one proper one. So it's going to be increasing our production quite a bit. Okay, so let's have a look. If we unpause that for a quick moment, how many days can we keep it going? The f biggest cost is on the first day, when you actually start building it, but after that it's not too bad. Okay, so with 10 million-ish, we can keep it working for a few days at least. Losing about 1.2 million per day, so we can reach uh, the 70 days remaining, more or less, and then pause it again. Which means that we've done one eighth of the building at that point. Alright, let's give it a pause. And once we get that one, I will get rid of some of the smaller... Actually... 
I could probably get rid of one of the smaller ones already. Scrap a facility. Not sure where it's scrapped it, but it doesn't matter too much. Oh, from there actually. It's going to give us a bit extra goods there. And at the same time, well, I mean, the production is going to go down a tiny bit, but it's not going to be that massive impact. And secondly, it should slowly improve the unemployment situation, which is currently 3.2%, and that's dangerously low. Like, uh, the less you have unemployed people, the more expensive it's going to be starting to produce things. And, like, if you go below 3%, then there's going to be some serious troubles because of that. And generally, you want to stay closer to 4%, most likely, to keep the production prices reasonable, but we've gone way below that right now, but we'll hopefully improve the situation in due time. And secondly, actually, if we have so low unemployment, how is USA doing? Oh, they actually have even less. What about UK? You also got pretty low. What about Venezuela? Got about the same as we do. Trying to find a place that has high Unemployment, but I don't think they really exist right now. Okay, you got a bit higher. What about Panama? Got a rather low population. Got a little bit higher than I do. You know what? Would you be willing to take the free flow of labor force? Might demand something else in there, like a million or something. Sure. So that's going to give us a potential extra pool for workers. And that should improve the situation a little bit. Not massive impact, I don't think, but it might help. That's, that also it keeps uh, the relations with our neighbor a little bit better. But we, in fact, seem to be out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.